Hello, Brian Myers from Winning Solutions Inc. and the Microsoft Access Experts. And today we're picking up on our tutorial series on how to create a basic database. If you haven't started the uh, tutorial series with us, I'll put a link to the in the description below on the first tutorial so you can go through the previous tutorials and get caught up with us. For those of you who have already done our uh, previous tutorials, we'll pick up where we left off. If you remember, last time what we did was we added some lookup tables for our department departments and positions in our employee table. Take a look at that now and what we have here is the ability to select it from the drop down uh, for our department ID and our position ID. But remember this is actually storing the ID not this value that we see. This is just a nice way for us to view it. So what we're going to cover in this video is actually something pretty quick. What we're going to do is look at our uh, employee table and what we're going to look at is providing default values. There's one field in particular that I want a default value whenever a new record is entered so I'm going to go ahead and right click on the tab here and go to design view and we also covered some other data types which I want to cover as well in this video as well as input masking. Um, so what we're going to look at specifically is the start date and the created date. So to start with, we're going to put input masks on the start date. So we'll go ahead and click that field. And what we're going to do is we want this to be a date time field. And the date time field for this particular one, we're going to say that it is, uh, we'll come down here into the uh, field properties. And what we're looking for is the default value which you see here and I'm not going to cover all the options that you have for default fields what I'm going to do is, is cover two basic ones that is the now function and the date function um, for this particular field I'm going to use the date function and that's you just type in date and an open parenthesis and a close parenthesis and what that's going to do is whenever we add a new record it's going to put automatically put the the current date into that field. So when we set up a new employee, by default it's going to say that it's today's date. If you need to change that date, you still can. It's just a default value. So what we did here is change it to date time, and it doesn't have to include time, when we put in a default value of date. So the next one we're going to look at is the created date. And we want this to be a date as well. And I'm going to say date time. But for this particular field, what I'm going to do is come down here for the default value, and I'm going to type in now with a open parentheses and close parentheses. The difference between the date and now function is the date function only returns the current date. The now function will actually re return the current date and time. And that's what I want for this created date. That's just a, a reference for me to see when that particular record was added or created. So that kind of covers the basics of the default values. Now I want to look at something with this going back to the start date, which is called an input mask. And the input mask is located right here. And what I want is to set, and we'll bypass this security warning is going to ask us to save. We'll go ahead and click save. And I can select the format that I want my date to be in. And I like the short date format. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and click finish. So that'll make sure that our dates are uniform and look the same. The other one that I want to do an input mask on is the phone number. So this is a text field and we'll go ahead and select it here and go down to our general field property settings and we'll look at the input mask. I'm going to go ahead and click that button again. It does say that we need to save the table. That's fine. We'll click OK. And then phone number is actually one of the options that we have, but there's other numbers in here as well that it can be auto-formatted, such as social security number, zip code, extension, password, uh, long, short dates. There's a whole bunch of options in there. You can also create your own. So I'm going to select the phone number, and I'm going to click Finish. And now we'll go back over into Datasheet view. It is going to ask us to save since we made changes to the design view. I'll click yes. And you'll now notice that we have a start date automatically entered into our record. And we also have a created date, which I'll make that field a little bit longer so we can see. And see, this is the value that's returned by the date. 
It is formatted how we asked it to be formatted. There is also the created date, which gives us a little bit more information, that time that it was created. So that covers how to use input masks and how to set up default values with the now and date function. Please feel free to give us a like and subscribe to continue with this tutorial system. Uh, you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter or join us uh, our circle on Google+. Feel free to contact us for all your access development needs. If it's a current project or a new project, whether you're using one of our database templates starting from scratch or need existing help with an existing database, database. I'll put information on how to contact us below and stay tuned for our next tutorial where we'll look at how to create forms from the tables we've created. Thanks and have a great day.